Welcome back to another Valsate cutting video. This is the Myra, uh, I think it's a VG91. This is made in Switzerland. Uh, a lot of European stuff that I'm using from Sykes Pickavent to um, Serdi, they're made in France. This is a Swiss Myra Valsate cutter. Again, cuts three angles at the same time using these profiled cutters. You can see there's, just get it in the light, there's a 60, a 45 and a 30. Uh, it uses pilots that are a fixed size, hundreds of different sizes available in tenths of a millimeter, I think. And they're just held into the cutter head with a pinch grub screw. Uh, this requires 240 volts electricity because this is a magnet that fixes to the head uh, rather than the earlier Surdy system uh, which bolts the head which can be a bit finicky. This is much quicker and easier to use because it's just a magnet and I think Surdy have actually made the Surdy micro magnet which is using a similar system to this. But this originally came out in the 70s. Uh, it's quite expensive being Swiss, but I suppose you get what you pay for. Um, I use something similar to this now, although it's a newer version of it. Um, let's see how this copes with the mini cylinder head. We've cut this one with a Surdy. So let's cut this inlet seat for comparison and see how it turns out. So that is the Myra. So I've put a cutter in there, which again will cut three angles at the same time. And the pilot is just held in with that grub screw there. So this has a ball um, locking system, which allows for different angles or imperfections between the head face where it's held on with this magnet um, and the valve guide center but it doesn't have the ability to move this way uh, so that's more of a manual thing by turning the body itself uh, this is just locked by that lever that locks the ball and to the column. Uh, this uses again a setting device or a little setting tool to set where you want that seat to be. And then again, it's just a manual handle that fits on the top. So let's cut that inlet seat and see how we get on. So depth is controlled on that collar. Um, and I think that's cut the seat. So let's take it off and see what it looks like. Again, the 
looks pretty good. Got an even seat. It's sort of shiny. Let's find the valve and see how it fits in there. So, got the valve. Let's see, we've got a uh, tiny top cut, we've got a bottom cut and a nice sort of smooth finish. And it seems like a pretty good seat. Again, this is good for flow because we've got that quite thin valve seat where we've got a bottom cut 45 and then a top cut and I think with Serdi and Myra they do multi-angle cutters so they're almost like a, a radius if that's the sort of thing you want obviously the the valve seat requirements are different on this side to this side where the short side radius is um, but yeah that is another valve seat cutter the Myra VG91. Thanks for watching.